go. Can you hear me? Hello, Virginia, Jennifer, can you hear me? Yes, hi. Hi, good evening. Hi, how are you? Fine, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Very good. Well, my name is Jessica. I'm going to be your... Um, teacher for this course. Excellent. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes, Thank you. All right. Last course before. Were you on top of one? Yeah. No. Yes, I did. Okay. Jennifer was and Virginia was it? Or the other way around? Um, this is my Virginia. It was. I'm sorry. All right. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, hi, Melvin. Melvin, can you hear me? I just need to make sure that you can hear me well. All right, sorry, Virginia, were you, you were saying this is the first time you're in, in the class or you were in the last course? No, I was in the last course. All right, okay, very good, okay. And Jennifer, you're new. Yes, this is my first one. All right, okay, very good, okay. All right, very good. Virginia, do you know how many like students were in the last course with you? Like about? Mm, we were around 10 or 9. Okay, not, not, not a big group then. No. All right, okay, very good. Okay, we're going to wait, like we're going to give like two more minutes for the new students or for the people that, that are just um, logging in, all right? And then we're going to begin, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. I'll be here. Okay.
All right, guys. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Rodrigo? Uh, I'm fine. How are you? Excellent. I'm fine, Rodrigo. Nice meeting you. My name is Jessica. Yeah. Nice. Very good. What about Julia? Hi, Julia. Can you hear me well? Yes, I am. Good All evening. Right. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thanks. Excellent. Very good. And we also have Ka uh, Karen and Melvin. Karen, can you hear me? Yes, hi. Good evening. Um, good evening. How are you? I'm okay. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. So Very happy. Good. Very good. Nice. That's the attitude. Very good. Melvin, what about you? Can you hear me, Melvin? Are you are you there? Yes, I can hear you. Good evening. Very How good. Fine. How are you? Pretty well, thank you. Excellent. Very good. All right, guys. Uh, let's begin. My name is Jessica Cerritos, and I'm going to be your teacher for this course, okay? Good. All right. Very good. Uh, I just need to know, besides Virginia, who else was on the last course on top of one? Rodrigo, were you on the last course? Uh, tip. You tell were, me. Were you on the last course in the previous one? Were you taking it? Did you take top one? Yes, I, I, I you did. took the, the okay. course. All right, very good. And Melvin, what about you? No, this is my first time. All right, okay, very I'm good. Not, yes. oh, okay, very good. And Karen and Julia, what about you, girls? Uh, yes, I I had in the last uh, unit. You, you were in the last course, Julia? Yes. All right, very good. And Karen, what about yourself? I was in the course, but I wasn't attend any class. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. But you need so, the platform. No, that's okay. Yes, that's yes, okay. yes, oh. I did. All right. No, that's, that happens sometimes, okay? You guys, I mean, the students are not able to be like here with us in class, but they do the platform and that's okay. All right. Very good. All right. So as I said, my name is Jessica. All right. And I'm going to be like with you guys for the whole four weeks. Okay. So uh, you may the way I work with the previous teacher, but that's normal. Everybody has their own teaching techniques and methods, all right? So, but I'm here to help you out a little bit, okay? So before we actually begin, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Because I really don't know you. And if it's okay with you, you can have like, you may have your cameras on so I can see you, all right? And I can see like what's behind Rodrigo and who's behind Virginia. It's up to you, it's not mandatory, but it would be like helpful because I really don't know if I'm talking to myself here. All right, so who wants to introduce uh, themselves first? Volunteers? Nobody, well, I start. Thank you, Karen, that's very nice of you, thank you. Well, as I said, I was, in the course, in the last course, but I can't, uh, I wasn't able to attend any right. of the classes because of work. Right. I work in a shipping line company. Okay. So in this time, we have a lot of, a lot of work. Yes. Uh, but, um, well, I, I think I have uh, three or four courses with you guys. Okay, all right, perfect, okay. All right, nice, okay. Thank you, Karen, very good. Who's next? What about Julia? Can you tell us about you, Julia? Uh, well, I'm, my name is Julia Jimenez. Mm -hmm. I live in Santa Ana. Okay. I did the last course mm -hmm. and I like to, share ideas in the group okay and i like i like to practice too with all of the people Excellent. and right now i work in lower de Colón, but uh, right now no not yet <laughs> all right yeah okay okay and i good. hope uh, to learn a lot in this course too. Very good. Okay, perfect. Very good. All right, Melvin or Virginia or Jennifer or Rodrigo. Who's next? Okay. Um. Hi. Um. Hi. 
Virginia. I am a teacher, so I'm um, doing some online classes as well. All right. And this is my second course with you. Okay, very good. All right, nice meeting. Thank you. Nice meeting you too. Very good. All right, Melvin or Rodrigo. I'm Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, my name is Melvin Franco, okay. and this is my first time with you guys. I'm a bachelor. I'm a student of a okay. bachelor in English. Okay. But within a, I'm in pre-specialization. Mm, nice. Okay. And uh, um, that's why I'm trying to take the TOEFL, you know, TOEFL model. Right. Right. In order, in order to <laughs> to succeed to on the ready. top, of, <laughs> to be ready on the top. All of right, this, very yeah. good. And where do you okay. study? Uh, I st I'm I'm here from San, I'm from San Miguel. Oh, okay. I, I study in La, uh, Gerardo Barrios yes, University. Okay. okay. Uh huh. So very good. I'm ready to to learn. Excellent. Very good, Melvin. Thank, Thank you. Very good. All right. I think I have Rodrigo and Jennifer. Right. Ladies first. Ladies first. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jennifer Santos. I live in La Unión and I'm very excited to be here. Excellent, Jennifer. Thank you so much. Very good. All right. Aha, Rodrigo. Last but not least. Okay. <laughs> and my name is Rodrigo Aldon. I'm 32 years old. Okay. And I live in Nuevo Cuscatlán. And I'm very happy because I want to learn a lot of with with with, with you. All right. And that's it. Very good. Thank you. All right. Very nice. Thank you guys for sharing the information with me and with us. As I said, we're going to be together for these four weeks. Okay. So we have to be ready to learn. Okay. And I do want you to have like like to be open minded. All right. Because as I said, I'm new for you right now because uh, for some of you that you took the course, the previous one before, all right, uh, I wasn't with you, all right, but that's okay. We can always change teachers and that's, that's perfect because we can learn from all different kinds of methodologies that there are, all right? So I just want you to be ready and to have a positive attitude, positive mind, and to have fun. That's the whole thing here, all right? So as you know, and for the ones that are new, we do have a platform. Do you have access to the platform, all of you? No, no yes. I, don't. I don't. Yes, I have. Oh yeah, you do have, all right. Who said you didn't? I think it was, it was Rodrigo that said that didn't? Yes, uh, uh, I, I don't have, I don't have access because um, I, have some, uh, I have some problems with the I, ID. Okay. But, I I make the 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 change of the ID. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. Very good. All right. What about Melvin? Hi, Evelyn. Hovel. Evelyn Hovel. And Jennifer and Julia. Everybody okay with the platform? Do you have access to the platform? Yes, yes. I can. Okay. Very I good. Can. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Okay. So you know the platform, and in case. In the case of Melvin and I think Jennifer, I think uh, that you guys are new. Just make yes, sure that you kind of like go over it before anything else. Okay, so that's okay if you haven't today, but like right after class or tomorrow during the day, you can check it out. All right, the platform here. I mean, guys, get you need to understand this, and I know that you understand it. This is top of preparation. All right, so the idea behind the course is to guide you through the types of questions. That you may encounter okay it's not really like giving you exercises like like in the other courses if you have taken the courses like the other courses with us like telling you what is a present perfect tense or what is like passive voice and all that we're not going to do that here the idea behind this course is for you to be aware of the kind of questions that you will you will face once you take TOEFL. all right if you haven't taken it before and it's a brand new experience this is going to give you an idea of what questions I'm going to look for, all right? Or they're going to give me these types of questions. What do I do with these types of questions? What kind of, what do they, what is the purpose of these questions? Okay, what do they want me to do with these questions? So that's pretty much the, the idea behind this course is to guide you through the TOEFL 
and like the types of questions that you may encounter. Again, this course is divided into four sections, the macro skills, reading, writing, listening. Uh, what's the other one? What's the other macro skill? Speaking, right? Yeah, we need to speak and you guys are doing it, but we're gonna like, we're gonna help you here also if you're gonna face couples and if you're going to have a, a speaking section, then what is the person that, eva that is evaluating you looking for on your responses, okay? So right now, guys, we're going to talk a little bit or we're gonna go on the reading section if you don't have any general about the platform, about the way I teach, about anything else that you need to know about before we actually start with the class. Any questions? No, no question. No question. No. All right. Okay. Just remember that it's mandatory for you to complete the platform. As uh, I think Karen was saying, she was not able to be in classes last course, but she was able to finish the platform. So that's mandatory. Being here with us is a plus for you. All right. In the case of Karen, she missed it. But let's say it's okay because you could always remember that these classes are being, are being recorded, all right? So that's for you to check the classes the day after in case you were not able to be in class, okay? But what is mandatory, 100% is for you to finish the platform, okay? The idea is because we have four sections, one section per week, all right? So the idea is for you, like over this coming weekend, is for you to finish all the section one, which is reading, all right? So you don't have like overloaded of like, you know, a lot of things to do like at the very end, okay? The idea is for you to like work with me, all right, during the week, and then on the weekend, you do the other exercises if you haven't finished. And if you have questions, of course, you can let me know. I'm already in the group on the WhatsApp group that you guys had before, so I'm there. And if you have questions, just let me, I mean, let me know, and I, I, I mean, I'm gonna gladly answer your questions. Okay, ready? Yes? Yes. Yes, all right, very good. So as I said, let's, let's begin with the reading uh, section. And this is what I have for you. For my classes, I always have a PPT, all right, that we can walk through it, all right? And I include exercises. And also at the end of pretty much every class, I will say more info because what we're trying to do is to prepare you for TOEFL. All right, so uh, right now, maybe not all of you are working, so you may have a little bit more time, so just to look over the extra material that I have for you, okay? So here we have, I hope you guys are not this quiet, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, very good. So I have this for you here, uh, which I, well, as I said, is the radius section. This is the PPT that we're going to be using this whole week. Okay, as we go on, we're going to see like more things. Okay, so here I have, uh, can you read it, Rodrigo, what the, the reading questions that we're going to look for this week? Okay, vocabulary questions, mm -hmm. reference questions, mm -hmm. sentence simpl simplification questions, uh, insert text questions. Okay, very good. So these are the four types of questions that we're going to go on this first week. And we, I mean, this is how I plan my classes. Today, we're gonna look over the vocabulary question. Okay, tomorrow, we're gonna go on the reference questions. On the third day, we're gonna talk about the sentence simplification questions. And on Thursday, we're gonna talk about insert text questions. That means that we're gonna cover these four types of questions this week, all right? As I said, I'm gonna walk you through. The platform explains to you what the questions will look like, all right? So we're gonna go deeper into that, all right? And then we're gonna practice together, which is the whole purpose of this, okay? All right, so here we have uh, vocabulary questions. Virginia, can you read vocabulary questions? What are they, what are they, how are these questions structured? Virginia, can you read those two uh, sentences, please? Sure. Closest in meaning mm -hmm. and the uh, the author means. All right, very good. So when we have vocabulary questions and you guys are looking for uh, the uh, test itself, you're gonna look for these two types of uh, sentences, all right? 
mostly when we talk about vocabulary questions, they will, the, the questions we read, uh, this word is closest in meaning to, and then it gives you four choices, okay? Or the author means with this word, and then they, they tell you the word, all right? And they give you the excerpt of the, or the little part of the paragraph or of the reading, so you can go back to the reading, read it, find the word, and then look for the synonyms in this case, or what it means, the closest in meaning word is, so you can match it, okay? So that's the idea behind it. So you need to remember when they say, okay, you, now we talk about vocabulary questions, it means closest in meaning or the author means, or vice versa. When you take the TOEFL test and you see this sentence or this question saying uh, what the closest in meaning is, you say, oh, that's a vocabulary question. They're going to ask me what the, a synonym for this word, all right, or what this word means according to the paragraph I'm reading. Okay, guys, so far so good? Okay. Yeah? Okay. All right, yeah. very good. Okay, I just get a little worried because I don't see you here, so I don't know if you're like there. Okay, if you just want me to, you. yeah, if you want me to repeat anything, please let me know, okay? Or if you have questions as I go on. Okay, so here we have. So, with these questions want from you, this is what they want from you. They want you to identify meaning, okay? Remember, TOEFL is proving or testing how much English you know and how much or how well do you master it, okay? So this is the whole purpose behind TOEFL tests. They want to know if you actually speak the language, yes? Okay, okay. All right, okay. so what they, are, what they are trying to like get here or what their main point is is asking, okay, does Rodrigo know English enough? In, every kind of context, in any kind of context, all right? Does Virginia manage or master everything that she's reading, all right? Remember that if you haven't taken TOEFL ever in your life, the vocabulary they use through the whole test is not like a regular English that we speak, hi, how are you, I'm fine, thank you. They talk about very specific topics. They talk about science, they talk about anthropology, they talk about psychology, they talk about um, just you name it. Vocabulary that we might not use every day, okay? okay? Yeah, so you have to keep that in mind, okay? So that's why if you're ready to take TOEFL or you're planning to take it like Melvin is, because it's a requirement from the licenciatura, all right, he needs to know and he needs to read things that comes to his hand, okay? It doesn't matter if he doesn't like it, it doesn't matter if it is not fond of politics, read it, all right? Doesn't matter if you don't know much about medicine, read it, all right? Because you never know the type of paragraphs that you're going to be given, all right? So what they are measuring here is like how much, how vast is your vocabulary here, okay? Especially with these uh, type of questions because they are measuring your vocabulary like how well do you understand it? Okay. Okay. Do you have questions? I don't. No, at the moment. No, not don't. at the moment. I don't. All right. Very good. Okay. No, we're good. Okay. Very good. Let's go on here. So here we have the first one. This is what we're going to do. Uh, what I want you to do, please don't read it yet. This is. I'm going to actually stop here right now. What I want you to do is your cell phone or. Uh, to take your computer and make a, a, um, a screenshot. All right, just take a picture of the reading, and as soon as it's done, I'm going to send you to your groups, okay? Together, I want you to read it. For example, Jennifer and Evelyn, you guys are together, read it, all right, and then try to decide which is the best word, okay? And then just make sure that you write it on a piece of paper. And then when we come together, then you guys are able to give me the answer and we can check it together. You understand? Yes. Yeah? yes. All right. So I'm going to go back sharing my screen. And I think I have five questions. So make sure that you have you take those five pictures. Okay. Then I'm going to send you to your groups. All right. For the ones that are new, the invitation is going to come up. All right, and just accept it, and then you're going to go to a group, like probably like you're going to work in pairs because we're in the whole class. 
So I'm going to give you some time. I'm going to be checking in each group if you're reading, if you're getting the whole meaning. And once you have your answer, just write it down on a piece of paper. Then we'll come back to the, the main session and we share the answer. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Perfect. So here we have the first one. Please take a picture of this one. I'm going to move this little one here. That's it. That is the first one. Ready? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Next one. No, no. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Next Thank one you. here. Oh, look. Yeah. This is the second one. Take a picture of that one too. See? Can, can you go back to the first one, please? Yes, of course. This is the first one. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Don't worry about the numbers. This is just the second one that I have for you. Ready? Yes. Perfect. This is the, is the third one. Ready? Yes. Yeah. Right. This one. Ready? Ready. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing. As I said, right now I'm going to send you to your groups. Okay. And as once you're there, please accept the invitation. And then once you're there, I'm going to go check. I'm going to be checking. And I want you to be reading together, okay? So, like, I can read half of the paragraph and Jennifer reads the rest of it, okay? Because this is a reading section, so we need to read, all right? Okay. 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 All right. So, breakout rooms here. All right. There you go. We're going to work in pairs, okay? The invitation has been sent, so please click on it.
hypothesis. I don't know how you say this word. Hypothesis. Hypothesis. The main problem is that the amount of dust that falls to the ground when the Earth travels through space, debris, the rise is rel relatively small, not enough to produce radical climate changes. Volcanic eruption, for example, release much greater amounts of ash and dots and have relatively little effect on climate. Supporters have counter counter that they that the byproducts created by the dust as as it vaporizes 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 on untiring the atmosphere causes subtle changes to the energy levels. Nevertheless the necessary physical proof has yet to be found to convince the sceptics. Sceptics. Mm -hmm. So the question says the word persuaded. Persuaded in the past is as closest to the meaning too. So what do you think on this one? Mm. Discourage. Discourage. I believe that is convinced because I much I much hypothesis. There are there are many hypotheses. It says by the inclination. So I would say many researches in the field are not yet perfected, which I believe is convinced. They are not convinced on this hypothesis. Topic, right. So I don't know what you think. Okay. No, you tell me. <laughs> I don't know. No, go forward. Let's go uh, forward. Okay? You think so? Let's go with the third one. Okay. okay. I think that to convince the skeptic. Mm -hmm. Hi, girls. Hi. Hello. You're working on the second one? Yeah. Yes. All right. Very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Letter A. Convince. Convince. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Letter A. However, my research is the final or not yet. Convincing the inclination in Paris. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Questions? Girls? Questions? Are you okay? Yes. Yes. And worse, but. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The vocabulary is special, huh? Yes. Yeah. I know. Okay. Remember that we might not know every single word. All right. I mean, it's not necessarily to know that to this level, we understand it by context. Okay. But when it comes to these kind of like words that are underlined in this case, those are like highlighted. They, uh, those are the ones that we need to worry about. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, very good. Change in the weather can trigger the start. Build up. The feeling. Build up. Yeah, start to build up. We're feeling under. What question are you guys working on right now? It, the third one. The third oh. one? Okay. Mm. Mm. Feel. Feel in mm -hmm. under the skin or build up. For me, it's feeling. Filled in. Same. Yes. Mm. Mm. Yeah. What do you think, Virginia? Is it feel feel in or build up? What do you think? Um, I think it's built up. Mm -hmm. What's the reason for that, Virginia? 
Um, because it's something that it's um, it's like growing in their bodies. All right. Okay. And Rodrigo says he's feeling. Yeah. All right. Okay. He's so. Okay. 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 Next one. Mm -hmm. The 21, 21. As it vaporizes or entire in the atmosphere, cause several, several subtle changes. Subtle, subtle changes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Changes to the energy levels. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, the necessary physical proof has yet to be found to convince the skeptics. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. So, mm -hmm. I think this will be little of A, Cumbins.
Melvin and Roberto finished? Yes. Yes. All right. Very good. All right. Okay. Just let me go check on the other groups and we're coming back. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, three, four, and five. Let it be. <laughs> Hi, Julia. Hi, yes. Julia. Hi, Evelyn. Finished? Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. We're coming back in like one minute. I'm just checking on the other groups. Okay. 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 Thank you. Mm-hmm. Number one, B. Okay. Two, A. Subjected to exposed. Virginia and Rodrigo, are you guys finished? Yes. All right, okay, okay, very good. We're coming back like right now, okay? Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Karen, finished? That's for you. Hi. No. No. What number are you still working on? That's yeah. okay. That's okay. Please. Don't worry. We are in the number three. We're we're having trouble uh, to to watch the picture, so oh. we have a big process to send it to my email. Oh my goodness! Open it in my computer, and now we're sharing. Okay. All right. Okay. That's okay. But you finish number one, two, and three. No, we're going with the number three. You're working right now with number three. Okay. Okay. Yes. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right. So, Jennifer, if you want to read it, now you can see it. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. It's a change with the journey so at all beers in the northern hemisphere seem to know when it is time to migrate so before the winter. In some, in some species, at times in the left of the day, because plants in the birds and birds' bodies to separate hormones. I don't know how to pronounce hormones, that. Hormones, hormones. I'm sorry for my pronunciation no, for my okay. English. Hormones, so, no, so okay. <laughs> hormones. <laughs> that produce other things, which really the birds which love them. At this time, fat start to accumulate under the skin and this provide a store of energy and fiber to expand the more color. So the word accumulate is the passage is clauses in meaning mm -hmm. too. At this time, fat starts to accumulate under the skin and provides a certain. Um, maybe it's closest to build up. All right. Okay. 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 Just make sure that you write your answer, okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. We're going to go back right now, ladies, because um, I have a class after this one. So I need to finish like five minutes before nine. And I want to make sure okay. that uh, we check the other answers. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Okay, miss. Hello. Is everybody Hello. back with me? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Me? Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Very good. Good. Good guys. All right. I was just telling. Um, I think it was Karen and Jennifer just uh, to like to let you know I have another class after this one. All right. So I, I will always let you go at 855 because I have another class and I need to log in. All right. So but we're trying we have like 10 minutes. All right. About so I want to see the answers for number one. The word uh, prevailed in the passage is closest in meaning to Rodrigo. What do you have ruled existed survived or tri uh, triumph. I, I write only the letter is letter D. Letter D for but you, the last one? D. D as in day or B as in baby? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, B the, as in baby. D. 
Do you have it? D? D. All right. Okay. What about the rest of you guys? What was the answer for that one? Prevail. Uh, processing meaning two. According to letter C. Survive. Survived. Okay. Any other we, choices? We have we have existed letter B. B. Yes. B. All right. Okay. Yes. Roberto Figueroa and Melvin Franco. We All right. B. Roberto Figueroa and Melvin, uh, you got correct. All right. So it's letter B. Existed. All right. Oh. Okay. okay. Very good. What about next one, guys? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What about for number two? It, it is the word persuaded. That's the one, right? Yes. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Evelyn, the word persuaded in the passage is clauses in meaning two. Letter A. All right. Convinced. Convinced. All right. That one is like pretty much forward. All right. However, many researchers in the field are not yet persuaded. All right. By the inclination hypothesis. Remember that it's a hypothesis. So they have to be like convinced that is real or that is a fact. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, you guys know what debris means or the bris? There was a word there that says the main problem is that the amount of dust that falls to the ground when the earth travels through space debris is relatively small. Debris, do you understand the word? No. All right, it means escombros. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, very good. All right, let's try to do the, the next one. That's number three. All right, uh, Jennifer, uh, what was the answer that you have for that one? The word accumul accumulate in the passage is clauses in meaning two. Letter A. All right, letter A. Yes, Jennifer, you're, you're right, you're correct. Letter A, build up, okay? Because it's talking about the fat that it's building up under their wings, I think it start, says, right? Or, or under their skin, all right? Build up, accumulate, very good. All right, next one, we have number four, I think it is. Let's see, um, Karen, can you just, uh, well, you didn't read it, right, Karen? No, we no, that's didn't. okay, okay. Virginia, did you finish that one? Yes. All uh, right, the word, pers uh, sorry, the word, uh, no, that wasn't yeah. it. Subjective. Thank you. Yes. It was um, letter A exposed because they created uh, like the situation. Right. All right. Yes. All so right. letter A. Letter exposed. A is correct. Yes. That was number four, right, Karen? I mean, Virginia? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. So for number four is letter A exposed. All right, and for the last one, um, Julia, were you able to finish? Or Melvin or Rodrigo, Roberto, anybody? Yes, Melvin. Yes, Melvin, tell me. Yes, I have a, Precisely. Precisely, we have it as a letter, the answer letter B, exactly. Exactly, very good. Exactly, yes. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right, that's exactly right. Right, very good, nice. Okay, very good. All right, I know, like, as in TOEFL, have you guys ever tried taking the TOEFL test before? No. Anybody? Nope. No? Yeah. All right, okay. So, uh, when you take TOEFL, everything is timed, okay? So, whatever, like, the reading section has a specific time. The writing section, the every section has is it is being timed by someone. All right, so that's why we need to learn how to scheme and scan. All right, because we need to read fast. Okay, so like reading helps you a lot to understand this and to get like fluent on reading. All right, because you get faster at reading when you practice reading. So one of my recommendations for you is that you have to practice reading all the time especially if you're going to have to take TOEFL because sometimes we want to take it but sometimes we have to take it because he needs to like pass the TOEFL to graduate all right so in that case I advise for all of you is you have to practice reading 
at all time. All right. Like all the time you have to be reading something and then kind of like the more you practice, the faster you get at reading. Okay. okay. Now, before we finish, okay. I want to also share this with you. Let me just uh, get it here. What I, I also want you to do is um, I'm going to send the presentation as soon as we're done. Every day I can send the presentation for you. All right. And then you can check it as, as a reference. Okay. But what I want you to do also is I want you to look at this before we uh, go. It says boosting your English vocabulary. Virginia, can you read this, please? Yes. Um, in English grammar, a root is a word of proportion of a word. Sorry, I, I have to take the... I can't see the whole screen. Just, just one second. All right. Okay. So... Um, in English grammar, a root is a word or proportion of a word we, from which other words, words grow, usually uh, through the addition of prefix and prefixes and suffixes. Mm -hmm. By learning roots word, you can decipher unfamiliar words, expand your vocabulary, and become a better English speaker. All right. So here, we, what we're trying to say this it, here is this. Uh, you need to study a little bit of um, the prefixes and suffixes of words, all right? Usually, and you know this, um, our like roots, they come from Greek and they come from Latin, all right? So the, you ha I invite you guys to like study those. Here, as soon as we finish the class, I'm gonna send you a list of 25 uh, Greek roots and Latin uh, roots. So you can like the most common ones. So you have the root, the meaning, and the, like the examples of it, all right? So I hope that's gonna help you. All right, so please take a look at that extra material that I can send to you because I think it's gonna help you somehow, all right? Um, sorry, yes. uh, Jessica, where are you going to send it? To where? the WhatsApp group. Okay. All right, are you guys, are, are, like, are all of you on the WhatsApp group? I'm not yet. Um, yeah. All right, make sure that you, uh-huh. Uh, we, we, I'm, I'm on a WhatsApp group, but there's like 30, 20 something person in that group. I don't know if it's the same one. Yeah, here, I, like seven. yeah, the thing is like a lot of, uh, what happens Melvin is that sometimes people don't log into our classes. They just work on the platform. Okay. All right, but that is the, the, I mean, you're there. You're in the right group. All right, so don't worry about it. Usually we're gonna be like this, more than probably no more than 15 all right but i mean on the whatsapp group there are a lot more because they don't like actually like join our classes okay less is more sorry all right no, never mind. Uh, okay very good so virginia make sure that you check the email that the ingles corporativo sent yeah. to you so you can sorry like, i uh, i was i was uh doing that right now and I already uh, entered to the, oh, the WhatsApp, WhatsApp group. group. All right, okay, so very good. So as soon as we finish, I'm gonna send you the presentation, this one, and I'm gonna send you the, the, the Word document I was telling you about, the roots, all right, so you can study that, all right? I think we have a little bit more time okay. here before we go. Uh, it says the root of words. Uh, Melvin, can you read it, please? Yes, uh, the root of word. Most words in the English language are based on on words from ancient Greek and Latin. The root of the word vocabulary, for example, is bog, a Latin root meaning word or name. This root also appears in such a word as advocacy, convocation, evocative, mm -hmm. vo vocal, and vowel. By dissecting words such as this, etymolo etymologists? etymologists can study how word has evolved over time and tell us about the cultures they came from. In some cases, root words might be slightly transformed in uh, and en wrote. That's that's the Spanish, right? That's en like wrote. French. <laughs> <laughs> to become part of a word that we're familiar with. In the vowel example, vowel is a word that's clearly related to the vowel root and its family and derivative word. All right, very good. So as this is saying, guys, I mean, a lot of the words, they come from the Latin language and the Greek language, all right? So we, those are the families of English, all right? Or the basis of English. So a lot of the times we need to study these like roots and suffixes 
to, to understand a little bit better or to have better vocabulary, all right? So that's pretty much what we're, I'm gonna finish with. We have, I'm gonna send it to you anyway. So the idea is for you to read it. Oops. The idea is for you to read what I had for you on the presentation and also take a look at the Word document I'm gonna be sending to you uh, about the 25 most common Greek roots and 25 more common Latin roots, okay? Are okay. we usually, Thank I have you. a question, can I? Yes, Melvin, yeah. Are we mm -hmm. usually going to be working in pairs? Usually. Okay, I was, I was wondering if I, because uh, I have a classmate in this, in this classroom with you. Mm -hmm. All right. That we, would, that we would like to work together because we were, we've been partnering in classmate for a long time. All right. And that's, and that's Jennifer. I don't know ah. if you, uh-huh. So All right. We, we, we're about to take the, the same test, so. All right, okay. Uh, you know what the problem is, Melvin, with that is that I don't, I don't actually create the computer does it for me. Okay. All okay. right. Not so a, sometimes you're going to be together and sometimes you won't. It's a matter of luck. All right. But okay. uh, all right. <laughs> yeah. Not all right. Problem. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Uh, all right, guys. I need to go because I have another class. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. So I'm going to be sending okay. the presentation and the document as soon as I log out. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Nice meeting Thank you. you. Have a good night. Thank Bye. you. Too. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye.